Welcome to my seventh show me. It's about parallel lines on the XY plane. There are two kinds of problems that come out of this concept. One is determining whether two lines are parallel. And the other one is a situation where they'll give you the equation of one line and the coordinates of a point that's not on that given line. And then ask you to generate the equation of a line parallel to the given line through the given point. And that's a very important application in a lot of areas. So those are the two kinds of problems we'll be demonstrating. The most important thing to remember about parallel lines on the xy plane is that two lines are parallel when they have the same slope. Slope, if you recall, is rise over run. Rise was the amount of change that occurs as we move from one point to another and run is the amount of horizontal change that happens at the same time. These two numbers are put into a ratio to create slope. So we have rise and we have run. Now, if two lines are parallel, that ratio will be equivalent for both lines. That means that they'll never run into each other, of course, because over any given distance they'll both go up or down. They'll both rise the same amount. So they'll never have an opportunity to get closer together or to intersect. That's what we're looking for. So we're going to use that fact to make this work. The fact that they have the same slope is going to be the key to both kinds of problems we're about to demonstrate. So here we have the equations of two lines. Our job is to determine what their slopes are and to compare them. The first one's pretty easy because it's in slope-intercept form already. In slope-intercept form, the slope is pretty obvious. It's pretty easy to find. It's the number that's being multiplied by x. So the slope for the first line is 2 thirds. If the slope for the second line is also 2 thirds, we've got parallel lines. And if the slope isn't 2 thirds, then they're going to intersect somewhere. Well, the way to get the slope on the other line is to convert it into slope-intercept form. In other words, to solve it so that y is by itself. I'm going to turn this line into an equation of the same form as the other. Well, the first step in doing that is to subtract 2x from both sides. Well, after doing that, we have negative 3y. The 2x is gone. On the other side, we have negative 2x plus 6. It's always better form to list your variables to list your terms with variables to the left of constant terms, terms that don't have variables. And we'll follow that convention here. Now I need to get y by itself. It isn't yet. Um, the way to finish the job, of course, is divide both sides by negative 3. So we'll do that. If I divide the left side by negative 3, y is by itself. On the right-hand side, negative 2x divided by negative 3 is 2 thirds x. And 6 divided by negative 3 is negative 2. It's actually important to do the work all the way through here uh, because these two lines could actually have the same slope and not be parallel if they end up being exactly the same line. Now we know they're not the same line. They're at two different elevations. This first line on the left intersects the y-axis four units above the origin while the, the line on the right intersects the y-axis two units below the origin. So they're not the same line, and they definitely do have the same slope. So they are parallel. That means that they'll never intersect. They'll always be the same distance apart. This is one of the two applications. The second application is to take the equation of a line that's given to us, and the coordinates of a point that's given to us and generate the equation of a line parallel to the given line but going through the given point which is not on the original line. Well we know that two parallel lines have to have the same slope so our first job is to find the slope of our line. We'll follow the same procedure we just did. We'll solve this for y. Subtract 4x from both sides so you have 7y equals negative 4x plus 14. Then divide both sides by 7. So y equals negative 4 sevenths x 
plus 2. So the slope, which is really all we need from this line, is negative 4 sevenths. We'll take that to the other side now and put it into our equation for slope-intercept form. Well, slope-intercept form is y equals mx plus b. The slope that we found is negative 4 sevenths. But we don't know what b is, so we're not done. We need to find out what the y-intercept is. Fortunately, we do have values we can use for x and y. If y is 3 and x is negative 2, we can use this information to discover what b is. On the right-hand side, take negative 4 sevenths times negative 2, and you've got positive 8 sevenths. 8 sevenths plus b, then, is 3. Well, 3 is also equal to 21 sevenths, if you get a common denominator. And knowing that, we can subtract 8 sevenths from both sides and find out that b equals 13 sevenths. This means that the equation of the line that we're looking for, the equation we're looking for, for our line parallel to this through this point, is going to be y equals negative 4 sevenths x, has to be the same slope, because they're parallel, plus 13 sevenths, that's the y-intercept that we discovered. So that's the way to fulfill the other application for the idea that parallel lines always have the same slope. It's a very common type of problem. It's a two-step process. First of all, turn whatever equation you're given into slope-intercept form so that you can easily identify the slope. Then use that information along with slope-intercept form itself to discover what B is. And once you've done that, you've got all the information you need to write the new equation in slope-intercept form. After that, whatever form you want, you can reach it from here. So that's the second application, a very common problem, a very popular problem, particularly on uh, state assessments and on SAT, ACT. So let's note the lesson. First of all, if two lines are parallel and they're on the plane, then we're talking about two lines that have the same slope. One distinction, of course, uh, two lines can seem to have the same slope, but if they're actually the same line, you've not got a case of parallel lines. So whenever you work with the equations of lines and you're not looking at pictures and you don't have the coordinates of points for both lines, it is important that you do your work all the way through. Don't just trust the numbers that are going to be involved in the slope calculation. Make sure that your two lines really are two different lines, not just two equations that appear to be of different lines. When you're given the equations of two lines to compare, it's simply a matter of finding the slope. The easiest way to find the slope, the easiest way to do it given an equation of a line, is convert it to slope-intercept form. Once it's in this form, the slope is easy to find, and it's easy to tell whether your two lines are the same line or not. Always use this formula. I like to say, this is, this is you want to run home to mama. This is, this is the mama. Everything else can be obtained if you've mastered how to use this information. The other job is to discover the slope of a line equation that's given to you. Use that slope in y equals mx plus b. Also, use the coordinates of a given point. Just make direct substitutions, the y value in for y the x value in for x, you've already got m, so you can use that information to solve quickly for b, and then you've got all the information you need to write an equation in slope-intercept form for a line that's parallel to a given line through a point not on that line.